This is actually my instrument, it's a, called a vibraphone. And normally when you play this, you play with mallets. And so I'm actually using a uh, cello bow. So these are metal keys and there's an edge on here and this bow has a lot of rosin. You can just put it on the edge and you just slowly draw it across and you can draw a nice sound out. We want to try and get just some things that we can use for like energy or magical tones. Like if you've been through the fallen transporters or elevators, we'll actually have some of the sound mixed into them. I designed this little device. It's essentially a guitar pickup without a guitar. If you play guitar, you know that if you walk with your guitar in front of a light, there's this hum. Most people think that's a bad thing. And what I did was essentially embrace that interference. It's all over the Fallen stuff, but the Stealth Vandal is really, when he's invisible, you'll hear a lot of this crackling. Isn't this Eris Morn ship? Is it? The thing that's most important to us as an audio team is making sure that the person is always hearing the most important thing in the game at the time they're supposed to hear it. So when you're firing your gun, that should be the most important thing that you hear in the game. We found some contacts that allowed us to go to a very remote area of an Air Force base outside of Las Vegas and be able to record some awesome stuff. It was a fantastic trip. Rolling, yeah. We just said, let's record as much very stuff as we possibly can because we'll find a use for it. See the crosshair? Yeah. We recorded about 20 plus different types of weapons from like World War I machine guns to 50 cal sniper rifles. One of the cooler things that we did, which I had never heard about before, was some stuff called Tannerite, which is used in sort of target shooting at long distances. And it's two powders that you mix together. You can drop it on the ground, you can shoot it with a 22, and it's fine, but if you shoot it with a high power rifle, it goes kaboom. We basically used that as it was the basis of all of our grenade sounds in the game. It was amazing, it was awesome. One of our contacts here at Bungie runs a couple different machine shops. We're recording anything from lathes to, to blow torches. There's a stamper machine that was actually punching out circles of like half inch sheet metal. That actually turned into the Vex footsteps. Anything we could find, we just like basically going to a place that had lots of machinery and saying like, make that go, and we'd record it. Heart of the Black Garden, damn. Wish I could have seen it. In Destiny, I am playing the role of Cade. What have you got? I play the Queen of the Reef, Mara Sav. She is icily resolved. She will do what she has to do for what she believes in. Mara Sav bows to no one. We are Elixni. The kind of gravel and some of the odd little ornaments that I added into it, I want to go for something that has a... <laughs> that's got some of that kind of what's called a glottal fry. You cannot face this alone. When I came to discover the voice of Eris, I thought about despair and, um, and darkness, very dark and, and, and disturbed. And sonically, that just put it in a low register for me, like almost like a soothsayer, so to speak. I will not fail. War is the only constant, Guardians. Transmission received and verified. You're still in this fight. Unit 9940 GM, ready to help? If the Queen wants it, then do it. You've changed everything, Guardian. For organic life to persist, it requires constant adaptation. You have a stack of lines to say so that they have options for each one. Is it going to be a little more uptight? Is it going to be a little more relaxed? Do they have a, the options they can slide in there? Don't look at me. Better say something. Don't look at me. Better say something.